Hi everybody, this is Zephy Brody, and I'm going to attempt to show you how to use the Mesh Generator by Nao Nao Wantabi. Wantabi. It is on Marketplace, and um, it is worth the Linden dollars. This is what I'm going to show you in a quick example of how to do the Mesh, I mean Prim to Mesh tool within this. So you can take an old prim object or any prim object that you build, have full permission on, um, and turn it into mesh. This, for example, was I think about 14 prims, although I don't know why it's saying 67 today. And this went down to one prim. So, so I would take it and uh, show you how you do this. I want to warn everybody that before you do a building don't ever do right angles, corners. Don't do a floor and a wall at the same time or you won't be able to, to walk into the building at all. Don't do doorways or anything like that with this. Take each prim or section that is not a right angle and do those individually and then link your mesh or you won't be able to walk through it, which defeats the purpose of a build. But when you're dealing with something like this, which is just a simple display unit and you don't have to walk in it, this is really handy. Um, for purposes, I will show you this in, um, I've retextured this back to its default, except for this rod, because I didn't want to part with uh, finding that texture again in a minute. So, the mesh generator can also mesh, can, can also just give you building shapes uh, that just pop up by clicking on the thing, and you can build with those as well as taking something old, uh, an old prim build, and turn it into mesh. That's what I'm about to show you. So, when you get this thing, you will, in your received folder, have um, a script in here called prim to mesh script. You will grab your object, find your root prim, which is always the thing that is highlighted in yellow. It shows you which one is your root prim. Find your root prim. Go into contents. See, it's already in there for me. You would take the prim to mesh script and drag it in here. So I said I already had it in. And you click generate. And as you can see, it's busy generating. It's saying there's 14 prims in two sides. I textured this before. So I know exactly what my faces needed to be, and I'm only going to do two different textures on here, so keep, bear in mind this thing knows and keeps your faces and repeats and all of your texture face information when it generates your new mesh. It's very important to know that even if you didn't have textures for this object yet, go in and color them, uh, like, you know, make each face a different color so that it recognizes your faces. And then later you can texture those faces individually. Very important. So after you've hit generate, it generates a website for you. You go to the page and this is their, this is what it looks like when it's generated your thing. This is all their products. But this is the thing you need to click on, which is to save your file. So we save the file. Now I need to see what uh, number I'm on. Um, I'm going to refresh that. I need one that says 9DD. Okay. I'm going into build, upload, mesh model if you're already registered to sell mesh in Second Life. 
upload them, whatever. And this shows you your pretty preview. Calculate your weights and fees. It's only like 11. What I wanted to also point out, and I forgot, was keep these numbers high on your generator before you do this. Otherwise, it'll be lame quality mesh. The higher you go on this, the better your mesh ends up looking on here. Now, my new mesh generated object is here. And that's what it looks like when it is a mesh. And it is one prem, like I said. Ooh, one prem. Now we'll select face. Give me a second. Mm. And I put my wood back on there. And then I will go and um, select my face for my for my rods, which all I have to do is click one of them. It's highlighted all of them because I remembered that it was a thing. And I will find the texture for that, which is pipe. And there's the pipe. Voila! So I have turned this 14 some odd prim object into one mesh prim. And the LOD is really good backing up way off of it. It doesn't um, fall apart. In your LOD on it because you've set this up pretty high. Um, like I said, when you do a building, never do a right angle. Um, I had a bar section I showed um, in my test run of this where, say, you had two mesh objects with, a th with an entryway in the middle. If you tried to do all of these is one thing. If you have to walk through this area, don't do them together because this will not be walkable anymore. Um, and anything like um, this thing over here being a right angle, you wouldn't even be able to get up in in a section like right in through there. You couldn't even get in here because it's a right angle. Avoid right angles if you're doing a building. Do them separate and then um, link them together in uh, in world, which will save you a lot of brain um, exhaustion and uh, failed attempts because I didn't know that information when I started out down there. I had totally totally taken the Ace Cafe building, which was thousands of prems, down to 23 prems using this um, tutorial, well, using this method. So. And, the reason why I said tutorial, I thought I needed to know how to use this thing, and I went out on YouTube and couldn't find anybody that had a decent tutorial on how to use it um, at that time, which has been a couple of years now. So I don't know if anybody else has done a tutorial on this or not. Um, but, the ones I found were not in English or didn't have any uh, talking whatsoever and a lot of tutorials go really fast and they don't talk and they have some annoying music on them so I'm gonna try to the point was to slow this down so everybody can understand what what you need to know but yeah this is the same size as is my original and um, cut down just tons of prims in the process um, and it, and it looks good. It looks good. So, there is my uh, tip and trick for the week. I haven't done one of these in a long time. You'll have to forgive my ramblings. I would say it is definitely worth the the uh, Linden dollars to buy this um, generator. So, my, my thumbs up for this. Um, two thumbs up. Yeah. I hope that helps somebody, and see you next time.